The Lifestyle Domestic Systems are a high quality, proven on-site solution for all on-site wastewater applications. Take a unique fly-through of the Heinz system and see how this state-of-the-art technology converts household wastewater into clear, odourless water suitable for irrigating your property. On-site domestic wastewater systems are required for houses in rural areas not connected to the main sewer networks. Heinz domestic systems are visually unobtrusive and are designed to blend into the surrounding landscape. Wastewater from the house's bathrooms, toilets, laundry and kitchen is collected and transported into the treatment plant. The Heinz system is manufactured in a high quality precast concrete tank. This makes the wastewater system both strong and durable. The household wastewater enters the treatment system into a primary treatment chamber. As the wastewater passes through the primary chamber, solid matter sinks into the bottom of the tank and begins to decompose. Floatable material rises to the top of the chamber and forms a solid crust that floats on the top of the wastewater. This crust is vital in containing any gases formed in the anaerobic process taking place in the tank. The wastewater passes through a biological filter on the outlet of the primary chamber. The water then enters the secondary stage of the treatment process. A blower located on top of the tank forces air into the wastewater through specialised fine bubble air diffusers. This oxygen in the air is absorbed by the water creating an environment that is suitable for aerobic microbe growth. Filter media fills this chamber and the large surface area creates a perfect place for the microbes to grow. The microbes are living organisms and cover the lattice structure of the filter media. The fine particles in the wastewater are drawn through the cell wall of the microbe into the centre of the organism. Once inside the cell walls, ammonium ions react with the oxygen and water in the cell to form nitrates and nitrites. The new particles are then transferred back through the cell wall and continue their journey through the system. As the microbes feed on the nutrients in the wastewater, they continually grow. Eventually, the outer layer of the microbe can no longer be supported and drops off. This material becomes activated sludge in a process called sloughing. The wastewater passes up through the entire media filter and then flows into the preceding chamber. The submerged aerated filtration is repeated in this chamber, creating an even higher level of performance from the system. Once the water has passed through the second stage of filtration, it enters an advanced separator, where a series of laminar plates filter the remaining solid particles from the clean water. These particles drop to the bottom of the separator, where a venturi or suction system constantly sends water from the bottom of the separator back to the inlet of the primary chamber. This function recycles the water back through the system approximately three times per day. Once the water has passed up through the separator, it flows into the final chamber in the system. This chamber is a storage tank that holds the treated wastewater until it is ready for discharge. Once sufficient water is in the chamber, a float switch activates a pump, sending the water out of the tank through a pressure pipeline. Finally, the water passes through a fine particle filter before being discharged into the surrounding landscape via a pressure-compensated drip line system.
this stripline system can either be surface laid or buried discreetly in the surrounding landscape. The effluent can be used to irrigate your plants and gardens and adds healthy nutrients to the environment. The end result is an environmentally friendly, high quality wastewater treatment system ensuring peace of mind to the homeowner.